What is up, everybody? How are we doing? We're continuing our climb here. Uh, we're going to keep using this uh, team sent to us by our friend Bambi. There's one little error on the team. It was supposed to be Terra Fairy Fluttermane, but honestly, I think that Terra, uh, Terra Water works just fine. Anyways, we're going to see if we can climb how high we can get up with this team. It's a pretty cool team. Rental code was in the last video if you want to check that out. Um, and also the paste for this team will be, if I forget to put it in the description of this video, it's definitely in the last one. So check that out. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and let's get into it. Also, comment question of the day, which is going to be, what is a protosynthesis boost that you don't think people use enough? Because uh, this team uses protosynthesis booster, um, or not booster, it uses protosynthesis great tusk with body press that boosts its defense stat. And I think that's pretty interesting. I, I don't, I don't know if it's like the best thing ever, but it's really fun. So yeah, uh, let me know, let me know what you guys like are using. I don't know, maybe you're using like booster iron hands or something. Um, actually, Iron Hands with Body Press would be insane. Pretty sure it gets Iron Defense, too. Uh, it's a pretty interesting team. Definitely don't want to lead off with the, um, Gyarados. It could kind of backfire pretty spectacularly. But I think that this lead... As long as it's not Aqua Jet on the Dragonite, this lead's really good. But I kind of have to scout for that, don't I? Let's see. I do quite like this dude in the back. All right, let's do it. We might get rolled by this team. I don't know how prepped we are for that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, why are people running Aqua Jet on Dragonite? Basically, Fluttermane is a very frail Pokemon, but it does invest heavily into its defense stat um, to ensure that it can take stuff like Ice Spinner from Chen Pao. But it can only barely eat those hits. So if you run Aqua Jet on your Dragonite, it gives you a priority move that goes before Ice Spinner or Sucker Punch, um, or maybe, you know, after Sucker Punch in this case. Basically, it just guarantees you pick up a KO versus Fluttermane because if you just run Extreme Speed, you won't always be able to uh, attack that Fluttermane. Elephant Chien Pao. This is a certified I am clicking. <laughs> this is a certified I'm clicking sunny day moment. And actually, I don't mind just going for the Terra Water immediately. Because like most Chen Pao players at this point in the ladder, top one, top 200 in this guy's case, um, would recognize that they can just pick up a KO on the Flutter Main by doubling into it. So I'm actually going to Terra Water here. Alright, let's get our nice little special attack boost. They're gonna jet punch and like ice spinner my flutter man. Or just KO the Murkrow, that too. Are they gonna flip turn on me? I don't know. I didn't get a tailwind off, which I actually really hate. Did I get wave crashed. Regardless, this was a decent turn. They flip turned. Okay, that's interesting. I have not seen flip turn on a minute. Ooh, Tailwind would have been really good. Dragonite. Fluttermane. Okay. I mean, I'm modest max speed. It's in my best interest to... Oh, I didn't see what booster they were. Oh, that's really bad. That's really stupid of me. We have to go Chiyu. I didn't pay attention to what booster energy they were. Or what booster um, protosynthesis they were. So I have to draw away attention from my Fluttermane. By just attacking with both of my Mons and hoping for the best here. Um, I'm hoping I'm out of range of Sucker Punch. I'm not certain. Probably not, actually, because, you know, we're... 
we're 4 HP flutter. We're not bulky. But I mean, if they decide not to sucker punch, that'd be really cool. Also, we might be faster than their flutter. It's not really common to see max speed. But once again, I didn't pay attention to the uh, speed boost they got, or whatever boost they had. They sucker punched the Chi Yu. Okay, huge. Can I be faster? I am faster. You want to go for D Gleam? Do I live? I don't live. I get critical hit on the Chi Yu. I don't know how much that matters, but now I'm within jet punch range, which is really bad. TBH. Really bad that I'm in jet punch range. <laughs> Actually, I might not be within Jet Punch range. Sun is up, but we're not bulky at all. It entirely comes down to if I'm faster. Or if, if I can live. And I don't think we take this, to be honest. But I should always protect in this situation. Because there's no shot our Great Tusk takes it. Yeah, there's the Terra Water. That's game. See, they aren't certain either, because they're like, oh, Terra Water in the Sun? I don't know if he, uh, if, if, if I get a KO here, but yeah, I, I think he would, because we're 4 HP. If we were a bulkier Flutter, it'd be closer. Yeah, no chance we're living that. Nope. All right, that's game. I don't know how much the crit mattered. Depends on their item. We definitely de-gleamed here, though. We have no idea if they're specs or not. Anyways, that's going to be a forfeit from us, unfortunately. Yeah, that flip turn really caught me off guard. I didn't think they were going to go for that. I thought they were just going to jet punch me immediately. I also definitely didn't expect the ice school crash. I, I personally don't understand ice school crash as like a move on Chen Pao. You have ice spinner. It's only five base power less and it's never going to miss. Can you not flinch? Yes, you know, it can't flinch, but you get rid of terrain, which into like Indeedy teams is so necessary. I just don't get the uh, the Asco Crash sets. Because I see people run it sometimes. And I'm like, bro, I hardly want to run Asco Crash on Bex Caliber. I hardly want to do that. All right. So, uh, it's a pretty interesting team. Looks like we're facing a Hydreigon, which is something I haven't faced in a minute. Um, I mean, this lead just goes crazy into this team. We don't have any safety goggles, which is a major complaint I have, but... Should be fine. Definitely bring you. I think we just keep bringing these guys, to be honest. Like, these guys are fine. I really hope we get to see that Hydreigon. I, I haven't faced a Hydreigon since like Series 1, basically. There was a minute where people were running crit Hydreigon to beat Don Dozo. That was really interesting. Annihilate Volcarona. Depending on the um, Annihilate Terra, it's probably fire, by the way. Uh, depending on the Annihilate Terra, this could be kind of bad. I think here, I get a lot of value out of just going for Tailwind. 
and swapping in my uh, Great Tusk. Because it's going to get them to reveal the Terra. Under no circumstances should they, like, not Terra here, I think. Alright, well, they didn't reveal the Terra. As they Quiver Dance. I have Haze, um, and they're facing a Murkrow, so I don't necessarily understand that thought process of doing that, but uh, I'll take it. Alright. Let's Haze up. Um, I think Haze Protect is fine. Actually, I just want the damage. Let's Terra Fire immediately. Dude, if they Terra Grass here, I'd be so I'd be so happy, bro. Terra Grass, please. It'd be so funny. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. Oh my god. Big rip. Big rip for this guy. Give me that. Thanks. Alright. I don't even know if this one shots because they tend to build Volker on a pretty bulky. And I'm a defense boosting guy, so you know. Doesn't quite one shot. Hopefully they just Giga Drain me. Yep. Can you bulk up? That'd be really cool. Yeah, nice. Uh, we're gonna rinse and repeat here. I'm gonna ignore that Annihilate for a minute. There's no reason not to Terra Blast. Alright. They're gonna draw the Volcarona, that's fine. Whatever's coming in is gonna appreciate this. Well, I guess that appreciates it, that's fine. Uh, but getting them to waste their Terra that early just makes my endgame much easier. The question is, how do I get into position? Because it's not going to be easy to get this thing into the position I need. Um, I think I hard switch Fluttermane here, and I really need Sun up. Let's go for the Sun, because I actually don't need the, the Tailwind anymore, but the Sun is much more important. Sunny day. I don't want to give the Annihilate any boosts. But actually, yeah, I guess I do because I want to be able to get. I want to. I want to give it a boost specifically because it'll allow me to lose my Great Tusk this turn and get my um, my Fluttermane on the field next turn. And I think Waterfall plus Rage Fist might just barely not KO me. That's such a clean two shot, dude. All right, Rage Fist, you gonna KO me? Oh, he's gonna bulk up. I don't particularly care. Especially if Tailwind runs out soon. Because I can just Tailwind again. Yep, there it is. Alright, cool. Everything is within Dazzling Gleam range except for this Gyarados, so let's just go ahead and fix that really quick.
And I genuinely, my win con for this turn is losing my, uh, my Great Tusk. Solid amount. Underwave? Oh, you are not going to let me lose this Great Tusk easily, are you? I think they might recognize that I, I want to get my Fluttermane in. Let me think. Do I lose if I just get the dudes in, like, now? Not really. Let's just haze here. Aeroblast, whatever. I'm still faster. Cool. Dragon it. Brother, I have haze. Why do you keep trying it? <laughs> this is the third setup move you've used in front of the prankster haze Murkrow. With Tailwind. I I'm just going to foul play you. I'm not even going to bother at this point. If they don't send in that Volcarona, I'm just going to foul play it. They keep trying to set up. I don't understand why they keep trying to set up. <laughs> this is the Pokemon equivalent of like running into a brick wall 90 times. I have to haze here because if they want a Rage Powder, that would actually screw me over. Para, it's whatever. Heat wave, please just get rid of the tusk. Thank you. Everything is within within range of Flutterman. I can just click Dazzling Gleam, and we're good. Waterfall in the sun that doesn't KO. All right, let's get her in. Go ahead and go for this foul play. Let me make sure I have Tailwind up for like... I got one more turn of Tailwind, one more turn of Hearth Sunlight. So I have to pick one in a turn, but I don't think I'll need to actually pick. Protect the Volk. Nope, that KOs. Nice. Alright, that's game. I swear, if they try to Quiver Dance on me again, I'm going to throw up. There's the Amoongus. Oh, that's a that's a legitimate, you know, option here. Um, I still Tailwind here because I end up winning with my, my Chi Yu late game then. Can't afford to swap anything in. And I have to Tailwind here in case they wanted to try to go for the Quiver Dance, because they can now. Go for the Heat Wave, that's fine. Chi Yu Sweep. I just have to not miss a, a you know, a Heat Wave. They go for the Spore? 
What? What are you? What? Or actually, yeah, no, that helped me. <laughs> that helped me. The burn, that is. Um, I don't think it would have mattered anyways, because Chiyu just comes out and clicks Heat Wave twice. Life Orb Heat Wave at that. Alright. Heat Wave, Dazzling Gleam. Nice. <laughs> Solid, uh, solid end game there, I suppose. That was a messy one. I'm not gonna lie, that was a messy game. I it could have gotten a lot better, but I think, um, I think I'm gonna call it there. You know, I think I think that was fine. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.